This is Jennifer Mee in the Pinellas County Justice Center. At 19 years old, she was arrested on charges of first degree murder. But this wasn't the first time Mee grabbed the public's attention. When she was 15 years old, she gained international fame when she developed a case of uncontrollable hiccups. She was initially known as the Hiccup Girl, but that all ended when her hiccups were cured and the media had no more interest in her until she was arrested. Mee was accused of setting up a robbery with victims she had met online. She had reportedly recruited Lamont Newton, her boyfriend at the time, and another friend, Leron Rayford, to help rob victims. Me met up with a 22-year-old man she encountered online. She lured the man to a vacant home and her two friends robbed and shot the man, which killed him. They got $50 for the robbery and murder. Me, Rayford, and Newman all lived together and were arrested within hours of the crime. When Me had first gone arrested, she was in jail and she had a phone call with her mother where she admitted to her involvement and the conversation ended up being recorded. This call may be recorded or monitored. I have a free call from... The jury returned a guilty verdict, and Mee was found guilty of first degree murder. We, the jury, said that he's guilty of murder in the first degree as charged. And now the judge will hand down the sentence. Why don't you go to the podium, please? Um, the jury, having found you guilty of murder in the first degree, Miss Mee, I will adjudicate you guilty and sentence you to life in prison without parole. I'm ordering the five fifty standard by the court court. You have thirty days to appeal. Okay. Her co-defendants Rayford and Newton were also convicted of first-degree felony murder and were sentenced to life in prison. This is Dylan Shoemaker. In a Buffalo, New York courthouse, he's at his sentencing after being convicted of second-degree murder. At age 16, Shoemaker was babysitting his girlfriend's child when she went to work that evening. He was inside a Springville home that he shared with his parents. Later that evening, Shoemaker beat the 23-month-old child, and a result of his injuries, that young child died. Dylan Shoemaker would later be arrested and charged with the murder of the toddler along with child abuse charges. Oh, your own business. Shoemaker was reportedly trying to get the child to stop crying, and he never wanted to hurt the child or for him to die. But the jurors didn't buy it, and Shoemaker was convicted of second-degree murder. Now, watch closely. As Shoemaker enters the courtroom, before he could even get set up behind the defense table, he starts crying and telling everyone how sorry he is. I didn't mean to kill Austin. I really didn't. I really think I did it. When Shoemaker was awaiting his trial, he had a phone call with his mother, and the conversation ended up being recorded. Now, listen to the judge on what Shoemaker said to his mother. In a phone call to your mother from the holding center, you stated, and I got a call from the court reporter, I am a 16-year-old blonde. Probably all I have to do is cry in front of the jury, and they're going to feel sorry for me. I can't take that with the dark. I wish I could. I would give my life for Austin. Shoemaker was later sentenced to the maximum punishment. That you'll be sentenced to an indeterminate term of imprisonment, which will have a maximum of life. The court hereby imposes a minimum sentence of 25 years. But that sentence was later modified to 18 years to life. This is Brandon Spencer in Los Angeles County Superior Court. He was charged with four counts of attempted murder. I'm sorry for having you on, but please life in prison. On a Halloween night, 19-year-old Spencer attended a crowded party on the University of Southern California campus in Los Angeles. Suddenly, gunshots went off, and it was mayhem. Everyone scattered. Some ran in fear, and others hid. Reportedly, Spencer also ran, but he was stopped in a parking lot half a mile away, where he got picked up by the LAPD for questioning. A couple days later, he was charged with four counts of attempted murder. Four people were injured, but fortunately, no one died. That if you are so intent on killing someone, that you're willing to shoot them and at the same time open fire into a crowd. Prosecutors argued during the trial the shooting was a result of a feud between Spencer and a rival gang member and that he was a documented well-known gang member himself. I'm not a bad person, but I made a mistake. I'm not just some gangbanger that you try to portray me as. Spencer maintained his innocence throughout the trial, 
but the jury didn't agree. Nearly 50 family members and friends packed the courtroom. As the judge read the sentence, sheriff deputies had to restrain Spencer as he banged his head on the defense table. Reportedly, Brandon was sentenced to 40 years to life for four counts of attempted murder. This is Martise Fuller in Kenosha County, Wisconsin. On trial, he's accused of killing his ex-girlfriend and attempting to kill her mother. Reportedly, 15-year-old Martise Fuller broke into his ex-girlfriend's house armed with a handgun. When his ex-girlfriend was listening to music in her bedroom, she was shot and killed. After hearing gunshots, the mother emerged from her bedroom and came face to face with the shooter, and she was shot twice. The mother would survive the shooting and identify Martise Fuller to the police. Fuller pleaded not guilty, but the jurors disagreed. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of first-degree intentional homicide. After the jury found Fuller guilty on three counts, he showed what appeared to be emotion for the first time on trial. During Fuller's sentencing, he continued to maintain that he is innocent. And moments before he is sent to prison for the rest of his life, he put together a statement for the courtroom. Judge, Mr. Fuller's prepared a statement that he asked that I read on his behalf. Okay. okay. Martise writes, I wanted to write this giving my sincerest apologies to this family I once shared time and love with. Truthfully, I am sorry about the pain you've all suffered through, but more importantly, the loss of my ex-girlfriend Kaylee that I loved too. But I have to continue to stand innocent because I am. And I hope you all can eventually see in your hearts that I am not the person the media has made me out to be. Now, the judge will deliver the sentence. I don't have any ability to trust that you will never commit these acts again. So in the interest of protecting the public, acknowledging the seriousness of these acts, the court orders that on count one, you are sentenced to life in prison without eligibility for extended supervision. As Fuller is being sentenced to spend the rest of his life behind bars, it appears he's completely unfazed. This is Shondell Jackson. He's in the Milwaukee County Courthouse at his sentencing for being convicted of murdering a university student. Reportedly, 18-year-old Jackson and his friend were hunting for victims when they saw Potter leave a bar. Nathan Potter, the 21-year-old victim, was a college student at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. They stalked him, accosted him, and demanded money. When Jackson learned that Potter didn't have any cash, Jackson shot him, which killed him. Officials said Jackson fled to Mississippi the day after Potter's murder. Jackson's uncle reportedly tipped off the police on his whereabouts where he was arrested. When he was on trial, you can see Jackson make gestures towards the victim's family. And when he was escorted out of the courtroom, you can see him smiling at the family. Now, moments before the sentencing, Jackson's mother told the court she first heard about the killing on TV. When I saw it on the news, I, I even cried. I'm like, oh my god, I can't imagine what that mother is going through. I never had a clue that my child had anything to do with it. My son is not a monster. He, he is not a monster. Jackson now apologizes for what he has done. I apologize for my behaviors. Please, don't take my life from me. When the judge announced life imprisonment without the possibility of parole, Jackson has an outburst. <laughs> As the deputies restrain Jackson, you can hear one of Jackson's family members scream to the victim's family. When Jackson is serving life in prison without parole, his friend pleaded guilty to acting as the lookout and was sentenced to 12 years in prison. <laughs>